Food Bank has been busy helping those in need. And that need continues. Chris Latronic is in Wailuku to visit the Maui Food Bank this morning. He joins us now live with more. Aloha and good morning, Chris. Aloha and good morning to you, Sam and Christine. Yes, it's cool to be back in Maui at the source where a lot of the food is being distributed to all the hungry around the island. To help us out, to tell us more, is the executive director here at the Maui Food Bank, Rich Yus. So good morning. So tell me how you guys shifted your services after the disaster. Well, good morning and thank you for coming and, and interviewing and, and seeing what we're doing here at the uh, Maui Food Bank. Well, you know, at the beginning of this, you know, we were as soon as the fires broke out, we had already started pre-staging uh, for our emergency response. We didn't know that it would all of a sudden become an epic event like it was and complete catastrophe that it was. Uh, so our trucks were already pre-staged and we shifted directly as soon as we heard that people were uh, going to the shelters. We provided immediate re, uh, support to the shelters because that was obviously first priority to make sure that those people had food and water and all the supplies that they needed. And then after time went on a little bit and shelters started kind of calming down, then we started uh, focusing on the, all the displaced folks uh, who are now all of a sudden living it with other people or they've moved and, and just weren't sure exactly what they were going to do for food. Mm -hmm. And ever since we've been sending food to the west side, we work with multiple hubs, uh, distribution hubs, including county sites, to provide food relief. And, and the numbers are just staggering on how many people, how many pounds of food. It's, it's an amazing community that has come together to support one another. I've never seen anything like this. this the community here is just unbelievable uh, support from literally around the country and around the world. I mean, we've, we've gotten donations from 13 different countries wow. to support our efforts here. Uh, a lot of local contributions, a lot of uh, uh, mainland contributions have come in, and we're just so grateful for all the support and watching this community just rise up in time of need. And it's just, it's, it's truly uh, heartwarming and, and a miracle in the making, you know, uh, everybody coming together. Yes, that is such a miracle to see. And it's, there's still a lot of work to be done. I can see there's already a lot of people working here, a lot of food already coming in. What do people need still right now, and how can people help? Yeah, uh, certainly, you know, financial contributions are always our best me method so that we can we can leverage that to bring in more food. Um, we're able to also buy from local farmers. We're trying to buy as much local as we can. That way we, we support the local economy. Mm -hmm. We keep the farmers with some revenue streams. It, it helps everyone. Um, you know, uh, food donations, food drives are always important. We, we love the contributions, uh, and again, you know, we uh, thank you getting the word out. For, yes. Uh, yes. Oh, oh we, we appreciate your efforts so much, especially how you guys were right on the scene as soon as the need was felt right here on Maui, and it continues to do so. We're going to be here throughout the morning here on Maui uh, telling you how you could help with the Maui Food Bank. This is Chris Atronic reporting live from the source here on Maui. Same things back to you. All right, thank you, Chris. 13 countries. Yeah, that is amazing. Really big Staggering show of support, number. yeah.